Hey, you want the power to be found? Microblogging. Check into it. And you just might do that after hearing that professionals just like you have made Twitter the 606th most popular site on the internet, according to Alexa.com. 3.6 million pages have been indexed. So why is this so important to your marketing, hearing those kind of numbers? Hearing that a, a, a network like Tumblr that offers mic microblogging, where I have all my posts there, why is this becoming all the rage? Twitter, Pounds, Tumblr, what gives here? What does it mean to you at the end of the day, right? Why? Why should you even bother? Because customers and prospects are going to want to hear from you in these networks. You got Twitter at the top, and then Tumblr, and then Pounce coming up. Pounce has 800,000 pages in deck. Let's talk about where the rubber meets the road here in the long term, right? Because a lot of these things are like shining objects to a baby. You know, it's like, what is this? But long term, customers and prospects are going to want to hear from you in these networks. Following are people who are themed friends. Do you see that they're following 86 people? That means 86 people are following my good friend Jack Humphrey, uh, master of FridayTrafficReport.com. Check that out. 86 people are 86 people are following Jack and are theme-based followers. So they are very interested in his content. Now, 53 people have opted in to receive his content, right? So that's like a permission-based relationship. They get updated on his contribution. Every time he contributes, they know about it. So getting friends is very exciting. Look at all those avatars there. Think about this in your marketing strategy before many people have registered for any of these sites. Another friend of mine, Howie Schwartz, a colleague that really likes to deal with politics, he's using microblogging <clears throat> as well to do his business. He's got 2942, 2,942 people he's following and 153 political enthusiasts that love to hear what he has to say every time he launches post or uh, uh, places up new content. It's an amazing way to communicate with customers and prospects. Why? It's becoming very difficult because of all the spam filters, email inboxes with so much going on, it is hard to get people's attention. Another thing you might want to note is RSS, <clears throat> really simple syndication. You can see that button down there. You know you can ask your audience to um, opt in for a, a, a RSS syndicated feed. Um, ask if they want to subscribe, the ability to give an RSS feed so they can see updated content in the feed reader, moving away from limitations of email marketing. It's just great. Isn't this cool? So cool that a network of friends can opt into your content outside of email marketing, new permission-based channels. The advantage is we become more mobile. We connect to these messages from our authorities that we count on for relevant content. I'm Jerry Hart, www.jerryhart.com. Thanks for your time.